Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about something that we focus on every single day in pre-market prep. Now keep in mind, pre-market prep live 8.30 Eastern every single day, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere, but it's really rapid fire. Okay, I try and jam as much into 15 minutes as possible and sometimes people kind of you know, want a little more detail. And I've got a one of our number one setups that I'm gonna talk about every single day on pre-market prep. Today I'm gonna to give you a little bit of deeper, more background on what to look for and why we can. All right, everyone, before we get started, be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and ring that bell on YouTube. Uh, man, we put out so much on the channel anymore. It's, it's, it's pretty wild to see where we've grown. You go back four or five years ago, and it was just me fumbling through some video, you know, talking about I don't even know what. And, you know, we got an entire team now, you know, whether it be Jack or Matt or Bryce you know, um, so uh, so many people helping with the channel. Kim, Steven, the podcast, the twist, steady trade treats, pre market prep. These videos, um, it's amazing. It's it's really pretty wild what we built, and I think it's one of the best free resources for trading out there. So check it out. Ring that bell. Let's break it down. All right. That being said, so something you're gonna hear me talk about all the time is these low float stocks that hang around, hang around, hang around. And you'll often see me do that. Uh, you know, you'll see this hand gesture, you know, and uh, long time uh, pre-market prep watchers, viewers will know they've, they've seen that so many times. And that what I'm denoting is when we're talking about that daily chart, and, and this is a low float stock, okay? I'm using MRIN as an example. I mean, today I'm recording, look at this thing, it's at 17 tomorrow's Friday, it probably breaks out. So actually today is July 1st, 2021. I'm recording, it's at 17. Drop me a comment below. How high did MRIN go? You know, obviously this video is recorded unless I come back through the simulation and appear live via my time machine. But it, I mean, listen, this thing could do anything. And that's why we focus on these stocks. And you can see this big breakout, you know, this line I drew when it broke six, just off to the races. But here we are, one, two, three, four, five. This is the seventh day. Actually, I should know that because the stock started running on my wedding anniversary, uh, June 24th. Um, I, I, I had a decent trade early in the day, but completely missed it in the afternoon. Wedding anniversary. We've been married 21 years. What are we, what are we celebrating anymore? You know, 21 years. It's like, geez, the celebration's over. Anyway, <laughs> love my wife. Hopefully she's not watching this video. But that being said, I was out in the afternoon to spend some time with the wife for the wedding anniversary. This thing exploded that day. And then here we go from four to five, seven to eight, nine to 10. And then we had that big first red day yesterday. And that's one of the things I want you to look for. Why do we care so much? That first red day yesterday, look at this big gap down, that lures in those short sellers. Remember when we're trading these low float stocks, we're particularly looking to target heavily shorted stocks and we know low float stocks when you've only got a couple million shares or MRIN, I think roughly 10 million shares in the float, it doesn't take that many traders to get twisted on the wrong side and end up shorting a majority of the float. And then when we get that, I mean, listen, you can call this first red day all you want. Okay. And shorts probably cleaned up yesterday, but at the end of the day, it closed at 11 bucks. Remember a week ago, this is a buck 50 stock a, a, a week ago. That's that hanging around. That's what I want you to look for. And that's why this was a number one watch when it starts gapping up in pre-market. So you can see actually went as low as 10. I didn't realize it went that low in early pre-market right at 4 a.m. So it gaps down at 4 a.m. Trending sideways after the first red day. Everyone thinks it's over. Then here you can see it spikes up at 5 a.m. Okay. So that's your that's your red flag or the, or that's, well, if you're long biased like I am, that's your green flag that you should be paying attention to this thing. So you get that big gap up. So now it's on your screeners. It should be on your watch because this is day seven. Okay. If this thing isn't on your watch after Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I check out the steady trade team. Okay. Hit the link below because 
I mean, listen, even if you were a complete newbie, if a 10 million float stock on day six, seven, isn't still on your radar, I can help you, man. And that's going to be one of the first things I'm going to teach is do not take this thing off your watch. Do not take it off your radar until it dies. That being said, let's fast forward back to today and you can see. So what I'm trying to do, and I'm trying to explain the, the bracket hand gestures. So we've got that on the daily chart, the one year, one day chart. That's the big chart. That's the daily chart. Okay. Then today, same action on the intraday chart. So from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m., 9.30, just sideways chop, hugging VWAP. That green line is VWAP. If you're not familiar with VWAP, you must be new to the channel because if I had to guess, there's about, if, if there's a thousand videos on our channel, there's probably like 950 on VWAP, okay? So check out the other videos, know what VWAP is. Then this is just hugging, hugging, hugging. And then you get that week open, that dip, okay? Notice it dipped from opened at 12 and dipped as low as 1150 and then reclaims that high a day, that 1250, 1260, even 13 level. And look at that move, straight up to 20 bucks, okay? This is what low float stocks that hang around for days, weeks, I mean, heck, this never used to happen, number one. I, I won't get into the stock market history stuff, but this is a new trend post-2016 and doubly so post-2020. I mean, the world changed in low float stocks in 2016, and then it just went parabolic in 2020. The, the world changed again in 2020. So that being said, that shows you the power. That's why we keep these on radar. That's why we look for those weak open dip and rips. That's why we look for those weak open red to greens. You know, again, this stock could have even went red on the day. And if it reclaimed green, that's that level we look for. Heck, imagine, imagine this stock didn't rip early in the day. Even if it just continued, <laughs> you, you probably already closed this video by now because you're sick of me doing it, but, but I'm trying to make a point, okay? Even if it just went sideways all day, chop VWAP and starts perking up at 2 p.m., which it's doing that right now, okay? Notice the hug in VWAP. I'm recording at 11.19 a.m. We got three hours till 2 p.m. This probably has a secondary spike in it. So that is the point I want to make. Definitely also go below, get my ebook. Okay. It's stupid cheap. It lasts. I mean, if they haven't raised the price yet, it's under 20 bucks and listen, it's not long. It's not complicated, but I think it's very succinct and, and lets you get up to speed on why MRIN is not done even now. You know, this is still an afternoon play and guess what? Tomorrow's Friday, day eight. This is a play tomorrow. So understand that's why we focus on these. That's why I bring them up. That's why I do the bracketing action. And it's not quantity, okay? It's not about 10 new tickers a day. I mean, if other than yesterday, which there was no signals to buy MRIN on that first red day anyway, but if, you, if all you did for the last seven days was trade MRIN, dip and rips, VWAP holds, red to greens, and then you ignored it yesterday because there was, I mean, again, a big gap down and faded all day. If you were buying MRIN yesterday, I don't know what the heck you were looking at. So it's, let's say you didn't trade it yesterday. You've now got six out of seven trading days, incredible opportunities, you know, and that's why we care. That's why we look for that alignment on that daily chart. That's why we care about these big breakouts. I mean, look at that breakout. I mean, Everyone thought it was an incredible run last fall when MRN went from, you know, a buck 50 to six. <laughs> I mean, this again shows you the change in 2021 and the difference. But understand that until these stocks truly die, and you'll hear me say that on pre-market prep. Sometimes I wear my Ivan Drago. You know, I'm a big fan of the Rocky movies, Rocky IV. You know, when I talk about these stocks, I'm like, if it dies, it dies, Okay. But until these stocks pulled in multiple red days and the volume goes away and they truly break down, you got to keep them on watch. 
Best way to do that is with stocks to trade. Hit the link below. You can keep all these stocks on your watch. You can track the patterns. You can set the alerts. And then the best way to focus on good entries and exits, risk to reward, and trade plans is to check out the Steady Trade team. Would love to work with you in a small, closed, focused group of like-minded traders. So check out the Steady Trade team, and I'll see you on the next video.